What the heck is going on? Okay, as I log into my computer this morning, I go to Twitter, right? I click on Twitter and I see this X. And then I see this X here. I say, what the heck is going on? If we go to Elon, we'll see a ton about what's going on with X.com. The logo has changed, X. Okay, we got a cool graphic, the building of the headquarters of Twitter, um, or known X. Yeah, so we have a bunch of stuff going on. It just prompted me to make this video because I wanted to quickly analyze what's going on. For some people out there that might be totally stunned at like, whoa, what's going on? You know, if you've been following Elon, he, he mentions X a lot. If you don't remember actually, you know, Elon Musk's first company that he started was called Zip2, which was a mapping software. In 1999, Elon Musk created the company X.com, which was an online payment processing company. Actually, I believe the first online payment processing company ever. A few years later, they acquired a company called Confinity, which within the host of that platform had PayPal, right? PayPal ended up winning out on the platform. And in 2002, X.com actually rebranded itself to PayPal. So that's why you hear Elon Musk being the co-founder of PayPal. Uh, that all leads from the history that he had with X.com. This term X is Elon's thinking behind this could be anything, right? X.com, it could be anything. It could provide any and every service. So X.com is gonna be rolling out banking. You can actually bank on uh, on Twitter or X. And much like ch in China, you have WeChat. You can kind of think of it like that. That's how I'm framing my mind around it. Elon Musk is attempting to create the super app, basically the app that you go to for social, for banking, the app that you go to basically for every need in that vein. You actually get another glimpse with Elon's fascination with the letter X from SpaceX, which actually stands for Space Exploration Technologies Corporation. You've also got the Tesla Model X, which is a part of the fleet, the Model S, the Model 3, the Model X, and the Model Y. You also got one of Elon's sons, which is named XAEA12, um, but you just call him Kyle. So a little bit of X flair there but I wanted to, you know, look at this because X.com, there's more vision here than just the branding and taking away Twitter and taking away the little bird. Now that we've rebranded to X.com, one question I wanna ask is, you know, what's the, what's the message called? Is it gonna be called a tweet? I don't know. Anyway, let's turn to Yahoo Finance and see what they're talking about in terms of this new development. It's official, Twitter has a new look. Elon Musk announcing he is rebranding the social media platform X and doing away with the iconic Bluebird logo. Yahoo Finance's Brad Smith here to break down the three things you need to know about this change. And Brad, I have to say, I have a soft spot for that yeah. Twitter logo. So, right? Yeah, I love it. Carolina Bluebird, we all like yeah. that. Yeah, and so this changeover yeah. came as a surprise to many this morning. I, for one, was on my way in and I was refreshing the app after wind and talk of the user-generated submissions that came through from his followers last night and over the weekend, essentially prompting them to, hey, come up with that next logo for Twitter. And we all know that Twitter is now owned by X Holdings, which is the company that Elon Musk holds, uh, holds and really only has less than 100 other investors. Now, those investors largely unnamed for privacy reasons. But all of that aside, many of them looking at this change as a potential way forward for what the future of X could be. And Elon Musk has teased a lot about this as well and what could be a family of products too coming forward here. Yeah, and we've been talking a lot about the super app, the mm -hmm. future of it. Linda Yaccarino, she tweeted. Yeah. Do you still say tweeted? Like, how, I, I think we have to change. You know, that's a good question. That's yeah, a good question. What do we say now? will tell us at some point, <laughs> this is what we're exactly. supposed to call. Exactly. I'm going to go with the ever pleasant and just super blanket and bland posted. Okay, she posted yes. saying that X will include audio, video, messaging, and banking capabilities. Yes. So do we trust the future with the super app? Well, and also to add on to that question, right? Sure. We have heard about the super app before. Everybody right. wants to be the WeChat that 
is in China. Exactly. What is to say that Twitter can succeed where others like Meta haven't yet? Yeah, whether inspired by Tencent, whether inspired by Alibaba, or even you know a multinational conglomerate like Stark Industries, Elon Musk clearly has some type of interest in creating this reality where you've got financial services that you can come into this realm and access, where you've got perhaps even some of your car data, things that can make your other experiences in life that much more seamless by just loading up what the X app may look like. And then of course you layer on the social media component to that too. Now what this comes back to also for a time where Twitter or X is moving quickly towards, like many other social media companies, 2024, which we're still waiting to see what the social media policy going into a, what has been called vitriolic anticipated election, what that will look like. And for many of them trying to make sure that they're continuing to monetize through that period and not sacrificing margins, you're gonna have to retain advertisers and those end users. So what in the user experience changes, if anything, right now, seems like not too much. So for the advertisers, does this give them a platform where potentially, if you do have a successful combination of all of these different app experiences, are you able to monetize better some of, or see a better return on investment for those campaigns that you're running because of the reach potentially that's being pulled in from all of these different realms of life where people would have had to go to separate experiences ultimately to access those as well. At the end of the day, it is about monetization, right? Yeah. They have been bleeding money. That's been very clear, even though they're not a public company anymore. We don't have all the data, but it'd be interesting to see how many people still stick around because we've seen users migrate to other platforms. Brad Smith, as always, thanks so much. Very interesting stuff going on here. I view this new change from Twitter to X to just being a reprise of X.com, only adding a layer now of social media, video, audio, the entire experience, such as like what WeChat is uh, in China, and now bringing it over here and trying to be that super app, trying to beat out Meta. Of course, we've seen what's been going on with Meta, you know, coming out with threads, Instagram threads, which basically, you know, you look at it, you use the app, it seems like a carbon copy of Twitter. Well, all very interesting, we'll see what happens. We'll see if Meta comes out the winner or X comes out victorious in the end. So thank you all for watching this video. If you haven't, hit that subscribe button, comment below, and hit that notification bell. Have you hit the notification bell yet? I'm waiting, I don't have a watch. Okay, anyway, everyone have a great day and see you in the next one, bye.